I visited Bratislava today. It's the capital of Slovakia, and it is absolutely a beautiful city. And I have to admit, I've got a soft spot in my heart for people from Slovakia because I have known some wonderful Slovakians in my time, and the city of Bratislava is as beautiful as those people were. And a really cool thing about Bratislava is that as far as national capitals go, it's actually really small. It's only about 500,000 people that live in the city. That's 500,000 metric people. And it's very much laid out along medieval lines and inside of old city walls. And so everything's pedestrianized. You get into the city center, there are no cars allowed. You have to walk around to get where you're going. And the city center is also where they have all of the government buildings that go into running their country. And so as I'm walking around the city center, taking all of these wonderful photographs, I happen to notice my embassy, the American embassy. Check it out. It's two buildings, nice and big, but its predominant feature to me seemed to be this fence. Here, right here, look at it. Now, let me draw you a little contrast here. This is the Canadian embassy. It has a grocery store. This right here is the Japanese embassy. It has a gift shop. I don't know why, but it seemed fitting that the Greek embassy should have a restaurant. The French embassy did have these big gnarly wooden doors, which were kind of cool to look at, but nothing really else. But when you look at it, American embassy? Canadian, Japanese, Greek, French. Fence? No fence. And that got me wondering, why is that? Because Slovakia is an incredibly peaceful country. Because I can almost guarantee you, in a city like Bratislava, the Greek embassy is in greater danger from fires from the restaurant than the American embassy is from like some kind of terrorist attack. And you know, as an American, I want my embassy to be open and welcoming and inviting and not imposing or threatening because it helps America's image in the world if we're nicer people. And trust me, with Donald Trump as president, we need to do everything we can to make our image in the world better. But in the end, my time in Bratislava was far too short. I had wanted to go visit friends that I had not seen in a long time. But the ship must go on. And tonight, we sail for Vienna. Is this thing on? Come on, get out of frame, push it away. <laughs> <laughs> 